Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defence Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defence sector. Today we are going to talk about the very important updates which is coming up for the VLSR SAM missile defence system. On 22nd Feb 2021, DRDO had conducted the maiden test of VLSR SAM or vertical launch short range surface to air missile. The indigenously developed and designed VLSR SAM has undergone two successful launches. The launches were carried out from a static vertical launcher from integrated test range Chandipur off the coast of Odisha. The VLSR SAM, which is meant for neutralizing various aerial threats at close ranges, including sea screen targets, was tested for demonstration of vertical launch capability as a part of its maiden launch campaign. On both occasions, the missile intercepted the simulated target with pinpoint accuracy. The missiles were tested for minimum and maximum range. The VLSR SAM with weapon control system was deployed during the trials. The trials conducted had proven the effectiveness of the weapon system. Now, there are some more good news coming up with respect to further testing of VLSR SAM. The DRDO is planned to conduct few more trials later this year, shortly before the deployment on Indian naval ships. Once deployed, the VLSR system will prove to be a force multiplier for the Indian Navy. The missile will be capable of neutralizing various aerial threats at close ranges. It will be used against the aerial threats such as fighter jets, drones, incoming missiles which are in the range of less than 60 kilometers. These missiles are designed to be very quick in response with very high hit probability for highly maneuverable targets. Since VLSR SAM is going to be a vertical launch system, it will ensure 360 degree of interception. The next generation all-weather air defense missile system can provide point and area defense against various aerial targets like fighter jets, fighter aircrafts, unmanned aerial vehicles. If you closely look at the VASR SAM missiles, they are based on Astra missile, which is also an indigenously developed air-to-air -air missile. However, there is a small noticeable difference between them. The VLSR SAM has a thrust vectory which provides it an additional maneuverability and this is missing in Astra missile. The Navy's upcoming VLSR SAM will also have a conformal S-band of 2.25 GHz which will have a two-way full duplex data link antenna. Now the data link will be used to simultaneously receive mid-course updates on the target's position and send missile telemetry data to the ships. Now having a data link capability will further make missiles more accurate and more deadly. With an active high-end radio frequency seeker for targets with low radar cross sections and high maneuverability, now this missile will add more teeth to the armed forces and a formidable threat for incoming aerial targets. The VLSR SAM will be a truck mounted mobile canister variant for Indian Air Force, which will be used as a short range air defense against aerial threat with a strike range of approximately 40 kilometers. The VLSR SAM will be a vertical launch unit for Indian Navy. This SAM system will be integrated with smaller surface vessels of Indian Navy and will replace Barak 1 legacy SAM system. Now, another good news which is related to the development of this program is the involvement of private players under Development Come Production Partnership Program or DCPP. One of the first missile program opened for private sector under the DCPP project includes the Vertical Launch Short Range Surface to Air Missile System or VLSR SAM. This was today's update. 
Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.